Okay, today we're looking again at the Dell Inspiron 1100, a 14 inch laptop that was built way back in 2003, so that makes it 14 years old now. When I test out different varieties of Linux on hardware such as this, I like to use the, um, the Yummy Multi Boot, and I find that's the easiest way to swap and chop and change and test out all sorts of things. Today we're going to have a look at TearPup 6.06, the 32-bit variety. It's not really UEFI that we're worried about today, so we can also run it in this older laptop that um, isn't affected by that sort of um, innovation. So we're running as a, a no-save file because that'll enable us to, uh, to just boot str everything straight into the uh, into RAM as a fresh install. So we've got a couple of um, screens of uh, well detail coming up shortly that a lot of people might be used to seeing a nice soothing animation um, plastering all over this sort of stuff. But Linux and Puppy Linux in particular likes to let people know exactly what's going on under the hood. So oh, you might not have noticed there a bit of a light coming on there when it's recognizing the or initiating the, the Wi-Fi card. I'm using a 32-bit um, well, a card bus, but it's the old um, PCM CIA style type 2 style. And it's a fairly cheap, about ten dollars. Alright, so we're nearly completing the boot up now so all seems to be good three things I like to look at is whether or not the screen's recognized and it is whether or not we get sound the ELSA drivers are probably registered with this particular hardware and the third thing I look at is whether or not the the Wi-Fi is being picked up what's unusual about this particular card that I have it's a um, a TP-Link W811N and a lot of Linux uh, users have also commented on the fact that the LEDs don't actually work while the, uh, the card's actually working. So we'll have a look at that a bit later. All right, so this is the stock standard Puppy Linux screen. I'm just going to, for the benefit of this recording, sh give it more of a, um, or show that it's more tar pup flavor rather than anything else. There we go. That's not too bad. Now we're booting into JWM, Joe's Window Manager, and it's got some pretty handy little tricks. I quite like it. So before we go too much further, what I'll do is I'll double check the fact that I've got sound occurring. Let's have a look at the sound. Going to the ELSA level. Okay, so we've got the barks there. What we don't have at the moment is a temperature uh, gauge running for us, so I'll just start that up. Uh, poor man CPU. Um, temp. Okay, bit of an error message there. That's all right. We can try again. Bang. So now we've got a reading here of 57. Now for this vintage I mentioned before that it's um, running a Pentium 4 CPU that's typically found in your older desktop style so it burns quite hot. So we'll, we'll just keep an eye on that as we run some tests. Alright, now the other thing I wanted to test was, let's have a look at the hardware into the system and here we're going to see a couple of little innovations so there's the Pentium 4 we've actually got two megabyte, uh, sorry, gigabytes of RAM in this machine and that's um, over and above the usually published 1.5 gigabytes that, um, that this machine um, came out with as a, as a limit 
there we go we've got the video is being accepted there audio as we saw before that's running okay I've also installed an SSD um, drive here and I'll just demonstrate what so here's the original drive it was a hundred mega uh, sorry 100 gigabyte um, parter drive with uh, 44 pins not the not the 40 so it's a 2.5 inch hard drive and by moving the I guess Dell's um, little adapter here that changes the pins to a uh, more of a, a slot type arrangement pop that on a MSATA parter adapter and I was able to recycle a 128 gigabyte um, SSD drive which is this one here let's have a look and I've just used some um, high density foam here to bulk it up a bit and make sure it doesn't shift from its orientation there in the usual caddy it's just a stopgap measure at the moment but we'll see how that goes seems to be running quite okay so that's just about well there we have oh, I've just got to check whether or not our Wi-Fi card is used is seen I normally use Frisbee I much prefer Jemima's little um, application but because we'd like to have a look at the hardware specifics let's have a scan now you noticed maybe the little LEDs switched off as it became activated and there we go so I won't actually log on at the moment but we can see that the Wi-Fi card is actually operational and as is the the screen and um, and the audio drivers so all in all this indicates to me that um, TARPUP uh, 6.06 .06, a fairly recent variety in the in the official puppy stables um, is a really good match for this 14 year old computer thank you very much